Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tuesday. It's time for a new Lons TV, and this one goes out to all my haters. In the grand YouTube tradition of addressing your video at your haters, I have now started to get haters. At first, the show was a huge love fest. I, I didn't get a lot of views, but all the ones I got was, like, engaged people who thought I was awesome, and they would leave me, you know, comments about en of encouragement and find me on Twitter, and we would start up, like, nice little conversations, and it was great. Uh, and now that I've started to track more than, like, those initial 15 really positive people, uh, I now have people who write me hateful, mean things. Uh, not always hateful and mean, just criticisms. So some of them are hateful to me. Don't, don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, just generally critical comments, people taking issue with things I've said here on the show. And I wanted to take this one episode as an opportunity to just kind of respond to a whole bunch of criticisms I've received lately, all in one tidy little package. So the first one, uh, and this is a lot of people, not just one person, uh, critical of my review of The Fighter. I, uh, I reviewed The Fighter. I was not a big fan. Um, I felt that uh, it was really sort of overblown and cheesy, and everything was really kind of obvious, and the characters, especially like the mom and the sisters, were like really cartoonish and over the top. Anyway, we've been over all this before. I don't need to get into it. Uh, yet again, I'll post below. You can go see the original review of The Fighter if you want to. Uh, but anyway, a lot of people have taken issue uh, with that review, and a lot of them have written me, and the, the response back is almost always the same, which is, uh, you've never been to Lowell, Massachusetts, because everybody there is really like these characters you're criticizing in the movie. And I'd like to, um, you know, I'd like to note these characters I'm, I'm, crit I'm talking about in the movie, they're not upbeat, positive characters. They're, they're all alcoholics, they're all chain smokers, they're all crude, they're all mean-spirited, and they're all trying to really take advantage of this one character who's their brother and their son. Like, they're trying to leech off of him, and they, they're, the, they're the antagonists of this film, and I feel like they're over-the-top evil. And, um, you know, I mean, the accent is really crazy and heavy, but, you know, maybe everybody in Lowell, Massachusetts has that really crazy Massachusetts accent, and it's just ridiculous, and I, I mean, I sort of doubt it, but okay, I'll, I'll even give you guys the accent one, but come on, not everybody in, in Lowell, Massachusetts is, like, pure, you know, evil, like, pure concentrated villainy, like, there, it can't be a whole city of just mean-spirited, ugly, nasty trolls. Like, I refuse to believe that, and I'm wondering what the city of Lowell, Massachusetts could have possibly done to have earned such a reputation, because even, like, other places that have bad reputations, otherwise, like, cities that are known for having, like, lots of fat people or, like, high crime or, like, pollution and smog, like, it's never just like, oh, everybody there is an evil son of a bitch. Like, that's just really, like, a mean ugly thing to have associated with your town. Um, and I also think people just seem to generally be confused about when a movie says it's based on a true story. That that just means, like, something happened and a screenwriter heard about it and they thought it sounded good, and then they wrote a lot of bullshit, like, loosely based on the original narrative. Like, it doesn't mean everything that they're filming, like, is true and like they're contractually obligated not to like make shit up and put it in the movie and you would think this would be driven home by the fact that right now in theaters is the right that idiotic looking anthony hopkins exorcism movie and that says based on real events in the trailer and it's like that's about an exorcism like clearly that's not like if i reviewed that one i'm sure i'd get a comment where you know I, if i said like oh and the devil effects in the movie looked really stupid i'd be like dude have you ever been to hell have you seen the devil i'm sure it looks exactly like that because it's based on a true story they wouldn't they can't just change it man like it's, it's just it's just dumb so anyway based on a true story it, it doesn't really mean that that's true like they can they, they're actors and it's writers and it's lights and sets and they can make it seem more realistic if they connect to the characters better and have more like you know thoughtfulness and insight and subtlety like these things are possible in film even when you're working with real people like i'm sure the real woman that, that melissa leo is playing like mickey ward's real mother like she thinks she's doing the right thing like she's a real person with a real perspective and this performance doesn't bring out her humanity so even though she's a real woman and maybe she does talk like that and maybe she like smokes down to the filter and she's got some sort of stereotypical boston stuff going on like there's a real person there and the movie doesn't find it and that's what's wrong with it. Uh, okay, moving on, because I spent way too long on that one first thing. Uh, the the Firewire story, I, I told yesterday, 
during my review. Uh, I, I ended up reviewing Kitchen Nightwares, but I started off by talking about all this crazy stuff I've been going through trying to get a Firewire cable to hook my iMac up to my new MacBook Pro so I can move all of my files and settings and everything between the two computers. Uh, I saw a cable at the Apple Store and it cost $30 and I whined and moaned because that's too much and they should just give it to me because I need it and they know I need it. Um, and I got a lot of flack, like Apple fans, and I'm an Apple fan, but Apple fans feel like you can't criticize like the Apple Store or Apple's corporate philosophy or any Apple products. Like you, you anything, any criticism you offer, you get that pushback. And I, I've seen this before because I used to host uh, This Week an iPad and I would see it from that too. Like if I criticize any facet of, of Apple's policies towards the iPad, I would get these emails from people like, how dare you? And you're supposed to host an iPad show. And this show should be supportive of Apple. And it's like, geez, I mean, you know, it's crazy. Like, I love Apple products. I have an iPhone. I have an iPad. I have an iMac. I just bought a MacBook Pro. Like, I thought I was pretty much as big an Apple fanboy as you could be, but I don't feel like an emotional attachment to it such that a shitty corporate policy like charging me $30 for a cable that they know I'm going to need after I've just paid them nearly two grand for a computer. Like, you know, that's just, that's just crappy. Like, I can step aside from liking their products enough to say that that's crappy. Uh, okay, the third thing uh, that I want, the third hater I'm, I'm responding to, and this is one person in particular, but I won't, I won't shout them out because that's mean. But uh, they left a comment on my last video because, like I said, I reviewed Kitchen Nightmares, but sort of, you know, like halfway through, like I do, and I I open the video with all of this like firewire apple is bullshit rant stuff and they wrote me this like really snarky comment like i thought this was a review of kitchen nightmares not you know wires and cables and stuff and it was just like you know how can you hold a youtube video to these standards like uh, this is not a professional review show like nothing on this page is like brought to you by CNN like I'm not being paid to do this it's just my channel like I wanted to do the review thing so that there would be some sort of format and also honestly just for the SEO value like I figured you know if I'm talking about topics people are searching there's a better chance they'll find my videos than if I'm just like literally just talking about myself for 10 minutes which Believe me, I could do, but, uh, you know, I thought it'd be good to give me, like, a topic or something to get to every day, but, you know, I, I like the, the freedom of just starting it out, talking about whatever I feel like, and it's my friggin' show, I, I should be able to talk about whatever I want, and I just, it must be so exhausting to approach YouTube that way, where it's like you have these, like, you're holding them to the standard that you would a network show, like, it has to just move minute to minute and be exactly what you want and exactly what the title promised, and if you don't get exactly what you want, you're like, I'm gonna snap narc this guy it's just it's just bizarre to me i mean what happens when that person who left me that comment goes and sees one of those videos where it's like some clueless mouth breather in like a totally dark room talking so low you can't even understand what they're saying and they're just like talking in circles and not talking about anything like that must drive them out of their mind like i you know i i know that there's low production values and stuff here but you know i think i deliver minute to minute about as much quality as you can expect from some guy talking into his imac on youtube so anyway I'll just close with that. If you're on YouTube, you understand you're on YouTube. It, it's, you know, and, and, and there, there are different tiers even on YouTube. Like, some people on YouTube are producing, like, really high-quality, glossy, professional, awesome stuff. And if you want that, you know, Freddie Wong's channel and Black Box TV, and that is all there. But this clearly is not that. I mean, there's, like crackles and hisses on this like it was recorded in the 20s like it's practically like i'm cranking it before i even start recording so let's all just mellow out folks that's really all i'm saying so that's today's lines tv i will be back tomorrow because it is web series wednesday as everyone knows and until then thanks a lot for watching and subscribing uh lawn out